and now let's take a look at the flywheel here and oh you're gonna want to take the flywheel off too and I believe those are 17 millimeter bolt uh, 12 point socket is what you use and um you're always going to want to um, resurface the flywheel you can take that to a parts store and have it resurfaced or uh, get a clutch kit that comes with a flywheel you never just want to throw a new clutch in there um, and risk having to take it apart again so um, and if you do when you take those uh, flywheel bolts off I'm not going to show it but um, <coughs> when you put go to put them back on uh, it's 87 foot pounds when you put them back on it's important another thing you can change which I'm not going to do today just because uh, we're not going to do it but you'll see that little bearing in there and if you take a screwdriver and hit on the side of it um, you can kind of get it wedged out and then you'll hit it back in with a socket um, if you're taking on a task like this I'd assume you'd know uh, what I'm talking about uh, how to get that in and out so um, that's just for you to know about the flywheel and the uh, main bearing the input shaft bearing oh. here we're looking at the old clutch and the new clutch you can see the new one here on the right and you can see oh crap all right and you can see how there's a lot of material there in between the little uh, metal divider thing and on this one you can see that there's uh, nothing left there on the left side and just a little bit left on the uh, back flywheel side so this is what you're looking for uh, if you took it apart and it looks like this, then you did it for nothing, so sorry about that, but that's it. Uh, we're going to put this new clutch disc in, and we're going to use the um, clutch installation tool that was provided with the kit, which is right there. You stick that, hold on, yeah, right here, and it's going to act as the input shaft and hold it in place while we install the pressure plate. As you can see here, now I'm holding the clutch plate with the... Uh, installation tool which this little uh, knob on the end there will stick in the uh, the input shaft bearing and hold it while we install the pressure plate and then reinstall the pressure plate mounting bolts all right guys and before we jump right back into uh, putting that pressure plate or the clutch disc and pressure plate back on we're gonna change this uh, throughout bearing right here and let's see here, stick the light right there. We go. Yeah, we got the new throughout band right there, and it's gonna slide right off like here. And you can see the little fork is holding it right back there. Hold it right there, thank you. And there we go. And the new one, you're gonna want to make sure before I slide this back on that that little shaft area is really nice and clean. And also, it doesn't hurt to pull a little bit of grease. Uh, right there and there as well just to make sure it's nice and clean and there's no problems uh, shifting uh, going up and like that to uh, engage and disengage the clutch and here we go like I said just gonna take a little bit of grease here and apply it yeah. uh, Make sure it's got grease. Yes, I'm doing this video in an apartment complex. It's crazy. It's right in the parking lot. And <laughs> once it's all nice and clean, you got some grease on there, then that's pretty much it. It's ready to get the uh, brand new uh, throughout bearing in there. And then that's it. I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Just go ahead and put it all back together all by yourself. No, just kidding. I'm going to give you the torque specs and uh, everything you need back to in order to put the transmission and clutch back together uh, how you're supposed to.